Hi Stinkies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Joshua Ramos. I just finished my first year at McMaster University, hoping to pursue a degree in human behavior. We'll see. Actually, June 17 today, so tomorrow we find out what programs we've got accepted into. This is actually going to be my first school-related type of video, and I plan on producing a lot more school like university related videos in the future i plan on doing like a course selection video and if you guys are interested in videos like a day in my life a week in my life studying for this exam etc and subscribe to my channel follow my social media link so you guys can keep updated now in this week's video i'm going to be talking to you guys about tips tricks and advice for incoming freshmen or just tips, tricks, and advice for university students in general to make your university transition or your university pathway a lot more easier. Um, just a quick disclaimer, in no way am I saying, like, am I a professional in all these? This is just what helped me in my first year. But, um, yeah, and another disclaimer, some of these tricks, tips, and advice can be applied to different schools, but some of them can only be applied at McMaster, so just keep that in mind. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get on with this video. So my first tip is do not take those 8 a.m. I know y'all were sleeping at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and you know, you're like, oh, I can definitely take an 8 a.m. biology class. No, I thought the same thing. I had the same mentality, but it's so hard waking up for that 8 a.m. and attending those 8 a.m. But if you are a morning person and, you know, you like to have your schedule all in the morning and in the afternoon and night you can kind of just focus on yourself then i highly recommend taking those 8 a.m's because um yeah those 8 a.m's are very like if you're a morning person definitely take it at the same time though i know i'm mcmaster at least 8 a.m's the campus is very quiet and it's kind of still dead so if you're the type of person that likes a quiet environment during specific times definitely take those 8 a.m's because yeah the campus is kind of like that not everyone's there so i yeah um another tip that i want to um emphasize is that go to class in high school attendance was kind of not mandatory but like they would check your attendance in university attendance isn't mandatory unless it's for a lab or tutorial so that being said attend your lectures some profs actually do post podcasts of their lectures that day or a um, couple days after the lecture so honestly test it out like i know a couple of my friends prefer not going to class because they like to do it on their own time and they just watch the podcast the same day or days after and it helped them but i know a lot of my other friends prefer going to class because it helped them focus on the material at that time honestly figure it out test it within that month because the month it's usually like dead at school like there's not really a lot of assignments or tests or midterms whatever so yeah just test it out in that first month and then see what type of learning you prefer just figure out what you want to do and what's best to do so that it sets you up for success attend other lectures i cannot emphasize this enough second semester i took a cell bio course and there were two lectures on thursdays and fridays there were lectures at 8 a.m and then there were lectures at 11 a.m sometimes when you're creating your times table or your schedule you'll have like conflictions with your courses so you're stuck with that 8 a.m but if you notice that there's also an 11 a.m that doesn't mean you can't attend that 11 a.m definitely go to that 11 a.m because honestly attending other lectures is, is very helpful especially if that course is mandatory and it conflicts with your schedule but you know that there's another time spot for that course if that makes sense sometimes i would um attend the 11 a.m lectures just because the 8 a.m's were too early too early highly recommend taking or going to other lectures because honestly helpful helpful af the next tip is that bird courses aren't necessarily bird for everyone i may think that social psychology was such a bird course for me like i got like a 12 in it let's just say but then other students are like how is this a 12 like i'm getting a 7 and 8 if you guys are curious what those numbers are i'll put like a gpa scale for mcmaster here like a bird course isn't necessarily a bird for everyone so i think a bird course for you is something that you're interested in so do something that you're interested in whether take advantage of quizlets what do i mean by that is let's just say you're curious as to what type of material is going to be taught in that course so i'm going to put up like a screen here or like a screen recording of an example let's just say i'm interested in biology 103 cell bio and i'm like okay like the course outline isn't really giving me enough information of what type of material you're gonna learn what you can do is go on quizlet and type in biology 1 ao3 and then you'll see like a bunch of different quizlets of yeah that people have made 
and that'll give you an idea of what type of material you're going to be learning. At the same time, this can also help you if you are, you know, want to study because these people have made these quizlets for this course. Get used to Reddit. Reddit is kind of like students like source of like information I guess you can say. I know at Mac we use Reddit quite a lot like I don't really use it but like I go on there occasionally to see like what's going on and um yeah it's just a helpful way to get information from different stuff like I know people sometimes talk about like um when admissions were coming out um different GPAs for different programs so yeah, Reddit at McMaster is a great website if you ever have questions and you want to ask them. Now this is specifically for first years and it's kind of two tips in one. So I labeled it as textbook, test, notes, and talk to upper years. So textbooks, tests, and notes. I think you guys already kind of already know this, but like there's a page at McMaster on Facebook that's like used um, textbooks. I recommend buying those used textbooks, but wait until like that. The second week of school I guess you could say because sometimes you don't need those textbooks I literally bought a couple textbooks that I literally never opened and it was just useless so if you plan on buying a textbook and you know you're gonna use it definitely buy a used one just because the ones at the campus store are a little more expensive and tests and notes try to buy used tests from other students because I know other students on that um, Use textbook page sell their tests and notes. I bought this biology one AO3 tests and a lot of the questions or at least in the multiple choice were kind of similar like here and there so yeah and also it's a good way to study because it gives you practice. Talking to upper years. Talking to upper years is a great 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 way to get insight on your program, different courses, the faculty profs so yeah Talk to upper years. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything, just comment them down below and I'll try to answer them or I'll ask my friends to answer them for you guys. Yeah. My next advice is to take advantage of breaks between classes. Honestly, like the breaks, they may seem very short, like a 50 minute break and then you have your next class, but take advantage of that. That break could be a time to, you know, like you're stressed, hang out with friends quickly. Or, you know, you didn't get anything to eat, so you get something to eat studying at the library like take advantage of those just take advantage of those because those little breaks you have in between classes are like really really useful so the next tip is have fun party meet new friends but also prioritize your education guys so welcome week is a very good way to meet friends and unfortunately it's not happening this year due to the whole pandemic but honestly reach out to those people in the facebook group chats add people on snapchat add people on instagram create group chats create yeah, create those group chats, those messengers, those WhatsApp group chats because those are good ways to meet new people. Um, there will be a lot of times where parties will happen and um, stuff like that, but also prioritize your education, guys. Honestly, being real here, every party is the same. It's like the same type of scene. So just because you miss one party to go study, it's not going to hurt you. So yeah, prioritize your education, but also make sure you have fun my next tip is to learn how to budget because honestly when you get that student card and you know you're you can basically buy whatever you want on campus it's easy to get carried away with it so i recommend just tracking your spending learn how to budget your money because it's easy to get carried away with spending especially if you're living on campus track your spending like don't get too carried away yeah that's Shoppers Drug Mart is 10% off on Thursdays and Fortino's is 10% off on Tuesdays. So near the campus there's a Shoppers Drug Mart, it's literally right in front of the hospital. And there's a Fortino's that's like, I want to say like a 10 minute walk, like a 2 minute drive. That's near Mac as well. And those two have come very, very handy, especially for like last minute type of things. So I recommend going on those days because, you know, save money guys. And I know on Tuesdays there's like a bus that stops at Mary Kai's, it's one of the residences, and it brings you to Fortino's. So, yeah, if you guys want. Now this is like advice. Failure doesn't define you, always try your best. University is hard, and you shouldn't beat yourself up if you fail one test. It's bound to happen. Um, it's so hard to not compare yourself to other people, but you really need to try your best not to. You got those 90s in high school, but then on your first chem test, let's just say, you got like a 40 on your first midterm. 
that's okay. Failure doesn't define you. Again, repeat that to yourself. Keep telling yourself that because it's key it's for um, a successful and healthy university pathway. What matters is how you overcome that 40 on the next midterm. Look back on that midterm that you bombed and maybe it's the way you were studying. Maybe you didn't cover the content that was tested on the most. Maybe you should go to office hours and ask what should I focus on for the next midterm? Like, ask questions, guys. Don't be afraid to ask the professors and don't be afraid to ask your peers for help. How are you going to overcome that 40% on your first midterm? And what matters is how you improve from there. Because I know a lot of people, even myself, like, I haven't done well on one midterm, but I ended up doing better on the second midterm and third midterm, and it's helped my grade a lot. So what I'm trying to say is failure is okay. It's how you overcome that failure. And always try your best. Like, don't beat yourself up if you get that 40 on that first midterm. Yes, it's gonna hurt. Yes, you're gonna be disappointed. It's normal. But don't let it define you. Your grades do not define you as a person. You will get hate for your major, but don't let that hate define you. So, what am I trying to say with this? Basically, a lot of STEM majors will, like, criticize you for your major like the social science and humanities but don't let that define you guys like you guys came to this to that school for that program for a reason don't let other students or other people in different faculties define you and your program i know a lot of people will criticize you like oh you got an a in english that's easy i got an a in physics that that's harder no sis an a in any class is good period like i don't know why people compare different different courses like it don't make no sense like an a in multimedia an a in biology an a in chemistry an a in history those are impressive period i don't know why people are comparing different programs in different universities it's a thing but just don't let it define you because you came to that university and that study that program for a reason push through it ignore the haters sleep sis sleep okay sleep is very important I think it's like one of the most important things in university and sometimes people forget to sleep. Take naps in between classes, honestly, just sleep. If you were trying to pull in that all-nighter and you're falling, you're getting sleepy and you're retaining no information, sis, put down your books and sleep. You're gonna benefit more from sleeping than studying. I know there will be times where all-nighter will work, but there are other times where it won't. So test it out, but at the same time, like don't forget to sleep, guys. Like prioritize your sleep. Sleep is very important and I know sometimes school can get carried away with it just which is fine but just don't forget to sleep sleep is very important and my last advice for you guys is to have a strong support system and take care of yourself university is not easy maybe an easy transition for others but for majority of people it's not easy don't compare yourself to other people i want to repeat that again taking care of yourself is very very important like don't forget to take breaks Taking mental health days off, like just to watch TV, watch Netflix, hang with friends. Important, 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 important. Don't forget to do that and always try to schedule times for yourself. You want to focus on getting a high GPA, but sis, you also need to focus on your mental health. Your mental health is more important than school. Taking care of yourself should be the first priority. So yes, always focus on yourself and take care of yourself, guys. Having a strong support system is very important, whether that will be your family, your friends back at home, your friends, your new friends at your new school, talk to them because having that support system is so, so, so important, especially when you're feeling at your lowest at school. So yeah, don't be afraid to reach out to people. Don't be afraid to reach out to different facilities if you ever need help. It's so important to take care of yourself, guys, and yeah, focus on yourself first before school, okay? Yes, those are all my advice, tips, tricks, and yeah, for university, I guess you can say. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll try to answer them. If not, I'll try to get my friends to help me answer them, because, you know, yeah. Also, I just want to say there's a lot going on in the world right now, so make sure you guys are taking care of yourself, but also trying to educate and advocate your peers as well mental health is like at an all-time low right now with everything going on so try to focus on yourself guys but also try to educate yourselves on what's going on in the world i'm going to be putting up a bunch of petitions fundraisers um podcasts movies films books for all those movements down below so you guys can check them out and educate yourself more and like advocate and you know just be more aware of what's going on in the world Bye.
And yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely, 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 lovely day. Um, make sure you guys take care of yourselves. And yeah, comment down below if you guys have any questions. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out. Bye.